You guys may have heard of the PS1 masterpieces, the PS4 remix, the GameCube PS2 Xbox random games, but have you guys ever heard of the Game Boy Advance games? Yes, I am Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with some Crash Bandicoot, the huge adventure for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. I am so excited to be here with you guys this very day on a mysterious space station orbiting high above the Earth. Cortex, remind me why I keep you around. You have failed me one too many times. Uka Uka, forgive me. I've been wasting all these years trying to vanquish that brainless bandicoot. He's of no importance to us. We want to take over the world. I've heard it all before, little scientist. What is so different this time? Trust me, Uka. I have a little plan to bring Earth's puny inhabitants down to size. So yeah, here we go. At last, my planetary minimizer is complete. Earthlings will bow to my superior intellect. Mwahaha! <laughs> Finally, after all these years of abuse, the tables have turned. Who's the little guy now? I, Neocortex, am your ruler. You will look up to me. <laughs> I have finally won. Now nothing can stop me. Not even that little bandicoot. Crush. Coco. The world needs your help. Cortex has shrunk our planet to the size of a grapefruit. We must stop him. It looks as if Coco... Yes, as if Coco... <laughs> it looks as if Cortex is using the crystals to power his shrinking machine. Crash, if you find the proper crystals from around the world, I think you can build a device to reverse the effects. Good luck, Crash. You must find the crystals so we can put an end to Cortex's evil scheme. Not bad. So I got a text first thing off, which sucks. Well, that's not bad. 720 for money. Anyways, so yeah, after fighting with my controller for a long time, I think I finally got it to work a little bit better. Like, not perfectly better or anything like that. But yeah, so this game has four worlds, I believe. Uh, as a total of 20 levels. Uh, there are jungle levels, there are underwater levels, there are uh, other levels like that. I believe blimp levels. But the thing with this game is, is if you guys play Crash 3, which by the way, this is Crash 3 Hub World music, just remade, um, there are no more power crystals in the world. We literally went and got them all, so there would be none left at this time. Anyways, let's go to Jungle Jam. So yeah, you can push, uh, select, select to see the uh, boxes, so there's 42 boxes. Uh, you have no power-ups in this game, like no abilities, so if you guys are used to Crash 3, you don't have double jump, you don't have super slam, you don't, or you don't have death tornado spin, and trust me, you will get them, because the sequel of this game, which is uh, Entrance, which Nuki Bong is currently LPing at the current time frame, if you guys want to go check them out. Uh, that one does have the b abilities already in it, so you guys do know if you guys played that one first, which actually I did, that you actually got the abilities in this game. So this is kind of like redoing Crash Over, but with characters returning and continuously saying that, you know, you foiled their plots before and their plans and ruined this and ruined that, but yet at the same time they tried to make an entirely new game. You can also push R while in the air to body slam. A B to spin, A to jump. Hold down A on the, the arrow boxes to high jump. You know, you guys should, are probably pretty uh, familiar with how this game rolls. Even though, like I, like I will admit that this game takes more after Crash 2 than Crash 3. Um, the next game takes after Crash 3 more. I really feel like this game tried to be a little bit of both with like the music. Like, the jungle music is actually from Crash 2, but re like it's changed around, and this is the song that I always hum. If you guys are ever with me in real life, I always hum this song. Do 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 Also, it's safe to go down there, there's a metal bouncy box. Also, spin into these before they turn into steel. I believe you have 8 seconds, something silly like that. Very, very obscure amount. Uh, as for the relics, you have to go back and beat the level um, again under a certain time frame. Also, I just realized the relics don't show up until you beat the level. In other Crash games, they're already there. Like, you know that you have to get relics. In this game, you actually have to beat the level to see that you need relics. 
Uh, I will probably be getting the relics at some point. I do plan to do a 100% LP of this game. Also, the, the mechanics for this are pretty much the same as land, except A is now to swim faster. It's literally... Well, and you can't body slam or duck or anything like that, but... Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Also, watch out for the mine. I feel like the water... Water levels are easier in this game as I take damage, yeah. Yeah, they're easier. No, they honestly are. Like, this game has the easiest water levels. I believe the most obnoxious water levels would be in Wrath Cortex for the, uh... Second gen consoles of like um, PlayStation and then uh, game. Actually, I guess it's not second gen at all. Only second gen for PlayStation, but like PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. Like uh, literally, it had the most obnoxious water levels because they were long, didn't have very many checkpoints, and then sometimes had like out of water segments, which then made things annoying. So you had like bonuses and stuff in water levels. Remember, in this in this type of water level, you don't have bonuses, so I guess Wrath of Cortex did something new there by putting bonuses in water levels by doing that. Also, spin directly down so you don't hit the mine, and wow, we beat the level. Didn't even mean to beat the level that fast, but we did. Anyways, we have Temple of Boom! Also has two gems, but I'm pretty sure we need either a different ability or a different colored gem to get this one. I believe we actually find out down here. Nope, never mind. This is just for a one up. Then again, saying just a one up is a pretty, pretty slanderous thing to say in the video game community. Just a one up? Do you know how important one ups are? Yeah, I know how important one ups are, guys. I've had lots of game overs in my lifetime. Like crazy amounts. Also, these, uh, those bouncy, weird ones with the stripes, the, those ones you have to destroy five, or hit five times to destroy them. Hit them five times? Yeah, my butt. Yeah, I was just seeing if there's anything to collect before we do this, because, remember, uh, bonuses are also checkpoints, but they're always near checkpoints, so it feels like the game didn't really remember that they were checkpoints, even though they were. Ooh, how they get out of there? So I can't remember if this one is anything difficult or not. I don't think it is. Oh yeah, uh, while running, just push, uh, R. I don't know why I had a hard time thinking of R. R to slide. Sorry, I'm getting in the, into the habit of LPing again. It's been so long since I've actually recorded. Uh, it's actually been half a year since I've actually recorded. If, if I did have any LP videos up on my other channels, or on any channel in particular, it's because I actually had them pre-recorded. I actually haven't recorded in so long my girlfriend was getting after me. Because it is a form of income. But it's not very good, but it is still something. So, can't really complain too much about that. And I do uh, love LPing. I really lost the uh, feel for it for a while, but now I have it back. I'm talking to my friend Malachi. I, I, I assume your name is Malachi. I, I really don't know. I've never asked you how to actually pronounce your name. But, yeah. Uh, he likes the thumbnails that I do for Crash. I'm going to do Sonic just for him. I don't like Sonic. Well, I do. I like Sonic Heroes a lot, and I, I do like a lot of the um, games like Shadow. I just am not a huge fan of just like Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, 3, and then like the Game Boy Advance versions. But I will continue to play them. Yeah, I believe if you go down here, we need something. Like, I'm pretty sure we... yeah. Shoot! I didn't realize that actually kills you. So yeah, spikes are insta-kill in this game, guys. But yeah, you cannot get the, um... The other silver gem here until you get the red gem. So that's good to know. Whoa. Those birds are also in Crash 2 as well, but they're a lot more menacing than they are in this game. And at least we get one Aku Aku again. If you get three Aku Akus, you do get invincible. I should have got the darn checkpoint. Then again, we would have gotten an invincibility here in the most useless of spots. I don't actually know if the game intends you to do the levels in order, which is why I think sometimes invincibility is in the most stupid spots. And the fact that you gotta come back here just with the right jam is kind of a nuisance. Oh, I almost killed him, which I'm pretty sure you need that, unless you can, like, duck jump. Also, 
what was that game? And then again, as you guys may have known, if you guys watched my Mr. Nuts LP so far, I probably will have that up before this episode, so you guys can see what happens. But my controller literally just kept like screwing up and dying, and then leaving me to die. So I wanted to kind of check if I could do the duck jump and get some altitude, but I couldn't actually test it there. So yeah, like invincibility wouldn't be the best in this level. And also, why do I want to go all the way up? I already got the gem. And the crystal. Also, also got a uh, text here. I think we want to go see Mother, but anyways, let's do Frostbite Cavern. Another throwback to Crash 2. Also, snow in this game actually isn't slippery, so you don't have to worry about sliding. But yeah, this is a snowy level. Well, more specifically, snowy cave levels, I believe. I believe they're also chases. 114 boxes. Were there two gems in here? I totally didn't check. Also, yeah, be careful on the ice because the um, jumping is a little delayed, so you might want to click the jump button well before I did. Though I believe we solved like almost 20 lives, so we're not hurting on the life department. Not yet. Whew. Okay, we made it past the part that I died at. Also, I almost died there for some stupid reason. Yeah, okay, so for this you hold down B to go fast. Also, yeah, don't don't hit everything. Oh darn it! I'm gonna have to hit everything. I believe if he gets you, you instantly die. Can you like kill me? No, dude. Why is it so hard to die? Oh yeah, there we go. Like, normally, you can use him to destroy everything, but I guess that time I was just in, like, the worst possible spot. A lot of the time, normally, this is where I get invincibility, and, and I would have used it here. Oh, can you please destroy those? Thank you. Also, he will destroy the ones in the air no matter what. So that is extremely beneficial. Also, Nitro. Also, I really can't remember if this is one of the levels where we're not allowed to... Darn it, penguins. We're allowed to get 100% or not. Also, just in case if I die, I got that one up, so... Also, never mind, I got Aku Aku, so it's... <laughs> not that bad! Instantly lose Aku Aku... Whoa, whoa, how did I not... Okay, there we go. We're going deeper into the cavern. And now I can't tell if that's actually a bear or a yeti. I'm assuming it's a yeti, because we already had a bear in previous games, and we've had a boulders and we've had things like that yeah I totally seen that coming my jump was so delayed I'm like no 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 bonus time biatches I think this uh, video is gonna be less than 20 minutes if it is more than 20 minutes like maybe 21 also I really hate that I have to bounce on these I really do hate them with a passion to be honest with you Oh yeah, free one up. Not really gonna bother with those one per fruit up there. Also another free one up. Oh, I see it down there, man. One, two, three, four, and five. Boom, shaka laka. We did it. And the last two boxes. Yeah, nice 22 crates. Crates, boxes, you can call them whatever the fudge sickle you want. Also, you can slide jump to get some distance. So we're missing one box. Also, we're not missing that box. So wait, maybe there was another gem here. Maybe I'm thinking of another level. Okay, I'm just gonna say miss you to my girlfriend before we do anything else. I know that she understands that I'm recording, so. Anyways, Justin Slime, another throwback to Crash 2. Actually, I believe the only levels that aren't from Crash 2, like the, the type of level, is the water levels which are from Crash 3, and then the, um, whatchamacallits, blah, 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 the blimp levels that are exclusive to this game. Like, every game has its own exclusive level, I guess, but this game specifically does not have very many. I think there's three of it in the entire game. The funny thing is I don't think we see it till the next world. Or maybe there's only two levels. No, I'm pretty sure there's like a night and day one. Also, why why did you do that game? Mm, is 
there like a way I can... No. I didn't actually mean to fall off. I, I was going to anyway. To get the uh, box, because I screwed it up by hitting the, the wrong one first. Also, I really feel like you don't need to hit that for anything at all. Seriously? That one is invincible. So you don't actually die in a bonus stage, but you do lose your Aku Aku. So if you die with the Aku Aku in a bonus, you don't you don't get to keep your Aku Aku as if you had him beforehand. But you don't actually lose a life. There we go. Eight gloves. There's also 47 boxes. I did not realize that. Also, one up. So many boxes in this level. Like that's insane. I have a feeling this is not going to be an easy bonus. I really remember this one being kind of annoying, but then again, it might just be one of the other sewer levels, because remember, there are multiple levels of each kind. Whoa, that was way better than I thought. I don't think we can... Okay, I'm like, I don't think we can make that any other way, but we did get all the boxes. So 47. Wow, 27 lives and 59 out of 134, and we just started the level. Even though we've been here for a bit. Remember, I did do some stupidity things. STUPIDITY THINGS?! I was gonna say I did have some stupidity moments, but... That, that didn't come out that way. Also, I got a text, but... I'm not gonna answer that yet. Drink. wonder if that means we're gonna, like, order pizza or something after that. Or go to the movies tonight. Because she is off at 7. So, either way, I'm completely excited if we do any of that. Also, you gotta crawl here. Can I have that life? Also, looks like we're gonna have to flip the nitro switch and come back. And I believe the nitro switch is quite a ways down the road. Like, and I mean, quite a ways. Also, that was a very late spin, so I wasn't sure I was actually gonna get Actually, sure I was gonna get that. Also, this one up is more cool. Hmm. 31 boxes remaining. I know two of them are back here. So we'll only need 29. But I can't remember if this is the sewer level that you can get everything or not. Like I said, there is a lot of backtracking in this Game Boy version. Game Boy uh, game compared to the sequel. Like the sequel generally you can get everything right away. It just requires you to go on like really difficult routes. Like, there are no death platforms, like other Crash games in this, but still, you know? So that was worth most of the boxes we were missing, so it is possible that what we are missing is just through here. Oh, I see you up there, 1-Up box. Eh, it's not really 1-Up, one 1-Ups one are Mario. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna be able to get everything. A checkpoint in just, what, 6 boxes? 5? Five boxes. Like, okay, this is a really drawn out, no enemy oriented area, and there's all the boxes. Okay, you gotta high jump for that one as well. Boink. Okay, I gotta stretch out my legs. Eh. That also might help me with uh, not screwing up the controller. Yeah, and I believe we're now in the boss. Dingo Dial, yes. Okay, just, there we go, text over, and let's do the first boss, Dingo Dial, which is randomly underwater. So to beat this guy, your best bet is to swim as fast to the left, or to the right side as possible, so then he will go to the left side, and then he'll shoot a stalactite down onto himself, and then you spin into him. The force field will hurt you, it won't just bounce you away, it will actually cause physical harm. So yeah, and the issue here is now he'll start on this side. And then I believe for the final hit, he does have like three waves of missiles. Yeah, but as soon as you get over to his opposite side, like to his back side, he will swim over to the other. So I guess you could speed it up in that regard. He's actually not that difficult of a boss, but if you have issues with swimming controls or swimming into him too early, then you might have some issues. Also, I completely did not get hit by those sharks. <laughs> do, 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 do. I also have this on HD recording, so it's recording as high a quality as possible. It's 
recording at least 60 frames per second minimum sometimes more depending on how things go but then I'm like you know what 60 is fine are right, we gonna actually even have another phase no never mind the second phase just repeats itself here and we get the super body slam I believe Super Body Slam! Push R midair to Super Body Slam. This destroys crates and nearby enemies. Okay. Meddling Marsupial, you got lucky this time. My henchmen won't be so easy on you in the future. So now we gotta do Engines World before uh, Tinies, I believe, which is really weird for a Crash game. So yeah, in this world we have Snow Crash, Rocket Racket, Just Hanging, Shark Attack, and then ruin. So anyways, in the next episode, we will be doing these levels. If you guys enjoyed this LP so far, please remember to leave a like, comment your favorite part of the video, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye-bye!